Okay, we're going to look at a couple more of these old Victor 7 inch discs. And I think this one's this one's interesting. Metropolitan Orchestra performing the Ragtime Society. And if you look, you can see that was actually scratched into the surface of this record. I think they did that before they applied the label. I've noticed that on all of these. I don't know if they stuck the label down and then put printed over it. I think that's what they did. I think they stuck the label on these and then stamped it. Thinking that's what happened. You notice on this Victor Monarch, this is an older one than the other Victor disc, uh, the label is applied directly on a flat surface. So when these are in a stack, that label wears. And on the back side, you can see around the, around the uh, center hole, it has uh, these little stars. There's three of them. And uh, the reason I point that out is we go to a Victor record. This is a little bit later. And this one has a label on the back. And I don't know if we can see it or not. It says... This message was dated 1904, January 1904. And on these, there's a there's an edge there. They've, they've dropped the center. They've dropped the center so this label stays fresh. It doesn't wear on other records that are in the stack. And this one will be the Hiawatha Two-Step, Seuss's Band. And we'll look up the dates on those. Um, the first one, the Ragtime Society, shows significant wear it's going to be pretty rough this one of the Hiawatha two-step looks pretty good it may sound okay so we'll give them a try here and see how they play Well, that was pretty good. That record's really badly worn, but uh, the piccolo player sure knew that song. He had a significant part in it. You can hear him all the way through, and that's that's pretty nice. Okay, we're gonna got a fresh needle. Take that one off and put on the Hiawatha Two Step Seuss's Band. Victor Record 2443 and I'll start it up and then go around and give it a few more cranks.
Yeah, that's pretty good too. That was that record is pretty good. So anyway, I hope you all have a good Memorial Day weekend. Don't forget that it's it's more than cookouts and car races. If you have any memorial services in your neighborhood, be sure to take them in. And we'll catch you next week.